FB tweet. Pinterest email send text message print. A seven-year-old girl from Kansas remains in hospital after a branch fractured her skill when it fell 30 feet from a tree. Mom Jenna Jones said her daughter, Quinlan, walked to a park with her two brothers on Saturday when strong winds knocked the branch from an elm tree, according to Wibb. The branch hit Quinlan's head, fracturing her skull in two places, Jones said. The second grader is now at Children's Mercy Hospital in Overland Park. A GoFundMe for the family has been created and has raised $10,000 as of Thursday afternoon. A description on the page said Quinlan is in critical condition. Jones told Webb that she doesn't blame anyone for what happened, and Ruth Ann Parks, an administrator on the family's Facebook group, Quinlan's Climb, shared those sentiments Tuesday. This was a true freak accident, that again, every minute detail had to be in alignment for it to occur, she said. If one millisecond would have been different, we would not be here, Parks wrote. There is no blame, no anger, just acceptance that this is where we are now. We do not know, nor can we pretend to know, what the plans for Quinn must be. The Quinlan's Climb Facebook group has grown to more than 15,000 followers. A recent update to the page said Quinlan might need surgery for the depression fracture on her skull, but loved ones were holding out for hope that if her swelling goes down, she would no longer need an operation. There is a chance, a small possibility that with enough rest, that the swelling can go down, and that surgery will not be required, Parks wrote. We set our sights to a new endeavor. Perfect rest. No hurry or anxieties about when she will wake up. The last four days have felt like a month, and Jenna has lived a lifetime in these four days, she explained. This mighty little lady has a possibility to not need surgery, and that would be a main ingredient to this miracle. So we hold on to that. She made it through what would have killed any adult instantly. Jones told Webb that doctors have told her they are optimistic about her recovery, though they do not know the amount of brain damage that may have occurred as a result of the accident.